Arsenal really beat Nottingham by five goals to nil at the Emirates Stadium today, courtesy of Martinelli in the fifth minute, then Rest Nelson scoring a brace, Thomas Partey, and obviously the party was really sealed by a player who goes by the names of Odegaard Martin. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan David and you know what we go on after doing the match reaction. We bring you the player ratings live onto the channel and that is Rokani Media Football. Now we are going to go on and rate the players of Arsenal and see what they did today and rate them on the scale of 10 because obviously they really deserve to be rated on the scale of 10 as it's a norm on a daily and obviously I would love to see you guys flock into the comment section tell me what you think about my player ratings and how much you're really going to go on and really give in these players obviously with a performance like this wouldn't like a player of Arsenal to really get a percentage that is really average or a rating that is really average remember below 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 six is poor six is average Beyond average, beyond the six, you know, it's really great and superlative. That's it. So today in this game of football was really great. Arsenal really had a very good game. They really went ahead to go on and really gate themselves into the score sheet. And I think it had taken Arsenal how many games to really score five goals at Emirates. When they last score five goals at Emirates, it's been really long. That's why I've read into the comments section. I've seen very many people coming and rating me know that, oh, Arsenal has really taken long without scoring five goals at the Emirates. But remember, they went ahead to put five past a team, which go, if they went ahead to put four past Leicester City, it ended 4-2. And as I told you in the match reaction, for the very first time this season, Arsenal have kept a clean sheet at the Emirates in the Premier League. That's it. Premier League, quote me well, not in the Europa, UEFA Europa League. I'm talking about the Premier League, right? So, let's start with the goalkeeper, Aaron Ramsdale. Obviously, had nothing to do in this game of football. It, giving him a 6 out of 10. Because I had nothing to do. If I'm to give him a 7, why does he deserve a 7? Because he did nothing. If I told he did their fantastic save, I don't remember him really pulling out a very fantastic save in this game. That's why I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. Benny White... I believe he never had a lot to do this game also uh apart from that um apart from that block by the way the reason why i'm going to give him a seven out of ten it's that block that gabio magalis went ahead to gift that ball to jesse lingard and obviously jesse lingard went in for a shot obviously ben white slid into it and it really deflected off and really went out right that's why I'm giving him a 10. That's why I'm giving him a 7 out of 10. Because that was so much brilliant. By the time it was in the first half, the game of football would have gone ahead to end 1-1 by half time. But his block really helped him a lot to go on and really keep Arsenal in the game. That's why I'm giving him a 7 out of 10. Because that was really a very critical moment. It would change the score from 1-0 to 1-1. So, all right. Ben White, 7 out of 10. He really did a very fantastic job for me into this game of football. Then, uh, Tommy Yasuo, mm, 6 out of 10. Had nothing to do in the game. And I believe it was really a boring game for him because... Arsenal really had the lion's share of the, of the possession. Nottingham never a threat in the wide areas. So I believe he was really having a holiday. A 6 out of 10 for me. A 6 out of 10 for me for a player who goes by the names of Tommy Yasu. So we go to the central defense, Gabriel Magales. I think he was really suspect sometimes. That's why I'm going to go and give him a 6 out of 10. He really gave out for that ball that Ben White really saved him from really blocking it from not going into the back of the net. I believe a lot of activity never took into the central defense. But that one moment, he really gave away a ball to Jesse Lingard in the 18 yards box area could have resulted into this game of football to change. But obviously, that block by Ben White was really great. And obviously, it was really immense for him. So, today, I'm giving him a 6 out of 10. That is Gabriel Magalhães. We go to, to Saliba William. And Saliba really did a very good job. He really covered well. Awoyini. You know him very well. He really scored against Liverpool. And obviously, if you talk about him, Liverpool fans know him better. And he really scored that goal at 
at their stadium that really saw a team which goes by names of Liverpool really being beaten one goal to nil. So I'm giving him a 7 out of 10. Sadi Barry did a very good job. He was so much composed and obviously he played a very good game of football and the manager is really so much privileged to be having him. The only big the only big task ahead of Arsenal is Arsenal to go on and really tie him on a longer contract because he's left with two years on his contract. Obviously, he reaches the summer, he's going to be left with one year, meaning that it's now that Arsenal should go on and really act and really get him a new contract and tie him on a longer contract. Not so. So, those are the defenders. Now let's get to the players that played in the advanced positions of the midfield and advanced position of the pitch that really made a lot of news in this game of football that Arsenal really won by five goals to Let's talk about Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey found himself on the score sheet. He really controlled the midfield very well. He couldn't allow them to go on and really dominate the midfield. Him and Grant Xhaka and um, Odegaard really played a very good game. And you know it very well that whenever Arsenal is playing with Thomas Partey in the single pivot, especially like today when they played a 4-3-3, it gives Grant Xhaka allowance and Odegaard to play in higher positions of the midfield and that's what really happened that's why it's sort it that Grant Xhaka would have really acclaimed or would have would have really claimed himself a goal in the first half and obviously the Odegaard scored in the second half now let's see Thomas Partey's game by numbers because we've been really given to them by by statement Dave 126 touches 103 passes completed 91 passing accuracy five long balls two out of two ground goals won two tackles won one key pass and one goal that is thomas Pate. i believe he deserves an eight out of ten performance that's it he deserves it he deserves it without further ado he really did a very good job and i'm giving him an eight out of ten that is a man who goes by the names of thomas Pate, who really went ahead to play well into the game of football that really happened at the emirates Arsenal won it by five goals to nil, and I'm happy for them because they are really going ahead to prove very many people wrong. And I like it to see my predictions coming right. And obviously, that's it. And obviously, that guy, Thomas Party deserves a pure eight out of ten. We go to Granit Xhaka. Granit Xhaka is really a very good player. Today, he really had a very quiet game, apart from the first half where he found him really putting in lots of effort to go on and shoot. And uh, that second goal, Arsenal scored. I saw him pass a ball to Gabriel Magalis in the teenage box area. Then Gabriel Magalis spread it wide to find Race Nelson, and Race Nelson really hit it into the back of the net. So I think giving him, I'm giving Grant Jaka a 6 out of 10. His game was average. That's it. His game was average. I don't know what you think about it, but on the rating of 10, I'm giving him a 6 because his game was really average. I don't know what you think about him, but. His game was average according to me. Martin Odegaard. Martin Odegaard really played very well. And uh, he controlled that midfield very well. He found himself into the contribution of the third goal. Because of his holder play in the box. 18 yards box area of Nottingham Forest. He even scored a fifth goal. Very much composed. And he really hit it into the roof of the net. And I'm giving him... 8 out of 10. Why not give him an 8 out of 10? Because he really deserved it. He really deserved it and he really put in a very huge performance. And I don't know the rating you are giving him out of 10, but he really deserves it because he captained the side to go on and really win this game, to go on and really go back on top of the table. Coming in from two loss, from, from one loss away, one draw away, he deserves to be hailed for that goal and obviously his involvement into the second go the third goal of Arsenal that was assisted by Gabriel Jesus by Gabriel Jesus that saw Rhys Nelson score a breast for Arsenal then we go to Bukayo Saka he only played close to how many minutes were they I think they were like 30 they were like 30 and obviously in only those 30 minutes this was his game by numbers. That is Bukayo Saka. He had 77% passing accuracy, 20, 27 minutes play, 22 touches, 3 key passes, 2 out of 3 courses completed, 1 long ball completed, 1 artist, 1 assist. Looked so good until he came off. Yeah, he looked so good until he came off. So those minutes played, 7 out of 10 for Bukayo Saka for the minutes he played because he really put in an assist. Because if you would go on and really put in assist game in, game out, 
you would know that an assist is almost a goal because an assist leads to a goal. Obviously, that is exquisite performance by Bukayo Saka, though he got an injury. And in my next video of Mikel Ateta reacting to the win of Arsenal, of Arsenal 5, Nottingham 0, I'm going to let you know what he has talked about or said about Bukayo Saka. Not so. It's really coming up and really be ready to go on and really listen to what I'm really going to go ahead and really tell you. Then the other player, let's talk about a player that really came on. Let's talk about Gabio Martinelli, first half game by numbers. He had 88% passing accuracy, two out of two long balls completed, two interceptions, two shots on target, one goal in the foyer. That is Gabio, Gabio Martinelli. But to me, I believe, apart from the goal, he was not all that a threat according to me. I watched that game very well and Arsenal fans can also agree with me. Apart from the goal, he kept silent. But obviously, I requested for him to bounce back. You get, you know, it's always better to be playing not to your levels and you're really scoring in goals. Meaning that if at all you really play to your full effort or put potential, you're really going to be a very good player. That is... Gabriel Martinelli, and I believe he's really going to go on and really do a very good job at a side which goes by names of Arsenal. And he has already scored close to five goals this season and put up like three or two assists in this season. So he's really doing a very good job, but I believe he's trying to find himself back because in the game of Southampton and PSV away, he really looked dreadful. But now, if at all is coming in and really putting in performances like this, you have to go on and really hail him for the performances well done. 7 out of 10 for Gabriel, Ma for Gabriel Martinelli for me. That's my rating I'm giving him on the scale of on the scale of 10. Then we go to we are left with who? Gabriel Magal is not so. Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus. Not so. Gabriel Jesus, where are you? Gabriel Jesus saw himself involved in two goals. <laughs> that is Gabriel Jesus. And he never scored. He missed out on a seater. He had two assists. And obviously really played a very huge role in the Arsenal win. And one will come out and really slate him. He's not scoring goals. But you see, it's always good to be not playing well. Like people think that you're supposed to be really valued on goals. And you're really putting in those chances and really scoring those goals i think it's always going to be a very good job so i believe for me it's really a very good job for a man who goes by names of gabriel jesus or oh, jesus is doing a very good job at arsenal and today he has been really a very good player to me and obviously these are things that that are young and lacazette couldn't give you a lot lacazette could try to go on through and really do the hold up play and really put in some assists but not to the level of Gabriel Jesus because Gabriel Jesus is putting up two assists today, meaning that he has really elevated his assist in the season to how many? To six and five goals, meaning that he has been involved in five in 11 Arsenal goals. So I believe he's really going to be a very pivotal player for Arsenal and obviously he's really going to find that net again. So I believe he's really going to be a very pivotal player and obviously when you look at what he put up today, 82% passing accuracy, four key passes, four grand duels won, three shots on target, three, ta three tackles won, two out of two area duels, two big chances created, and two assists coming in from Gabio Jesus or Jesus. And these stats were compiled by Statman Dave. And for me, I'm giving him an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten for Gabriel Jesus to me in this game of football. Then let's go to the man that really made a very big impact today and that is Race Nelson who really came on through in the 28th minute when Bukayo Saka really got an injury and he came in through and really did very, very, very well. So this guy, Race Nelson, played close to that 60 minutes. In the 60 minutes, he really scored two and really assisted one and obviously he deserves a lot. And to me, I believe he really put in a lot of effort and that a lot of effort he put in through really saw him win this game for Arsenal. You see, if that game kept on so long for one goal at one goal, maybe Nottingham would have really gotten the power and strength to go on and say, all right, let's find, let's find out that one goal. But Nelson comes in through, puts in the second one and the third one to make it 3-0. And the rest was history for Arsenal to go on and really win this game favorably. Now, 
on what we put up on the field of play 92% passing accuracy three shots on target two key passes two ground duels one two goals and one assist meaning that he was involved in three goals and I'm giving Res Nelson a 9 out of 10 in my player rating. So I don't know what you're going to give Res Nelson on the scale of 10, but I'm giving him a 9 out of 10. And obviously that makes him my man of the match. Not so, not so. So I believe you've heard all my player ratings and feel free to go in the comment section and tell me what you think about my player ratings as far as Arsenal 5, Nottingham is concerned. And I've come here to really read everything to you as it's deserved to you because you've done a very wonderful job. Thank you for keeping it Rock and Media Football. For Michaela Teta, an 8 out of 10. He really got everything right today. The subs were on point. I made it seem really get, making a full substitution of Bukayosaka, but the substitute he made saw him. Saw him really, really, really get two goals and obviously with an assist. So one substitute made for Bukayosaka resulted him into getting us to a level, getting us not to a level of winning or getting in three goals. That is Race Nelson. So an eight out of ten for me. And obviously those are my player ratings for Arsenal five, Nottingham zero. So smash the like button, comment and share. And guys, continue to go on and re subscribe to this channel because if you subscribe to this channel, you will really be helping us grow this channel loads and loads. So I sign out for now. See you later. Rock and David is my name. One more video is left. So keep tuned. And that's why I always tell you to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That will enable you to get notified each and every time I upload a video onto this channel. Your reactions are welcome. The comment section below. I hand you over to the Almighty Lord to protect you and watch over you abundantly.